Well, I, I'm looking at Vlad TV right now, and you actually popped up on the homepage again. Yeah. Over um, the Logic thing. Yeah. So Logic's announced his new album title. Africarian. Africarian. Fuck is that? This is my same. This is my same outlook on it. And I, I literally just explained this to it. I would go to my, my exact reason for it. One, I do not listen to Logic. I have never heard Logic song in my life. Logic is nice. Okay. I fuck with Logic. I I've interviewed your, him before. I will take your word for it. Okay. I have never heard Logic song. What I do know about Logic is that he is of mixed heritage. Yes. I know that Logic has obviously seen the same news that I have watched whether it be Al Jazeera or CNN or Fox, whatever you watch, mm -hmm. right? And at this time where there's a whole ignorance on race and bigotry and things of this nature and how it's being concealed to expose a country that is obviously divided to a divisional title, right, that is often misunderstood. Aryan was not a construct that was created that meant white. Aryan was not white because Aryans, one, is a theory. It is not confirmed. It is a theory. And that theory was based on a pure-blooded, supreme white race. And that was propaganda that was pushed by Hitler. Mm -hmm. So that word alone, Aryan, is not a construct of simple white. Africa is Africa. Aryan is a fucking construct. And so to put that construct in there because you think it sounds cool, no matter how you explain it, is, is. Was there, was there an explanation behind the title? He put an explanation out for it, I watched it. What was, what was the explanation? Not, his explanation was that um, coming from being both black and white, he wanted to show people how, you know, he could look at it at the lens through both sides, right? Well, lo logic is an interesting, is an interesting case. Okay. Because, Logic actually is mixed. He, he's black and white, but he passes for white. Exact, my exact reasoning for what I said, and I stand behind it because people often forget that he passes for white. Most, most you know, for example, like he, he had brought up in our interview that, that J. Cole is mixed also. Right. I, I, I didn't know that. I thought J. Cole was just light skinned black guy, you know, two black people. But what is, and, what is fact, J. Cole, people like J. Cole and Cap Kaepernick, uh, Colin Kaepernick agree, uh, identify as? As black. Oh, right. And you know why I identify as black instead of identify as mixed? Because we're at a time where being black is a threat, where the Black Lives Matter movement immediately was labeled as a terrorist group versus the Ku Klux Klan. We still can't get a terrorist designation on the fucking Ku Klux Klan despite all the terroristic things they've done. And so when you make an album title and try and wistfully explain it away is, yeah, I'm just trying to make people see both sides. What both sides are we looking at? Because Aryan is a, is a classification made and created by racists, not by white people, not by some scientists, not, is not a regional sort of thing. It, it, it is literally a theory created by racists. And, 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 and even the guy that created it believed in the Germanide. If you want to get, and people, that's another thing. I do research on what I say. The, the guy who even created that whole concept that Hitler stole from believed in a supreme German race. Mm. So even he was a bigot. The entire term Aryan comes from bigots. And so when you try and make it seem like it is just some willy nilly term for white people, and I'm coming at him for making an album that's like black and white, that's fucking stupid. What I'm saying is, to carelessly throw that word around, knowing that these white people, this secret racist subculture, would be able to rally behind it, whether you intended that to happen or not, is not wise. I don't have anything to say about Logic as an artist because I don't listen to him. I don't have anything to say about him about as a person because I don't know him. I disagree with the title. I feel like it is a shit title for the times. That is what I said. Yeah, man, and you know, and, and I've interviewed, like I said, like I've, I've interviewed Logic, and he actually grew up in, in some really fucked up conditions. Your dad was on crack. Yes. Okay. Uh, from from what? How old were you when when this first my started happening? My whole life. Your whole life. Yes. Really? So yeah. Since but, you were a baby. Yeah, but my mother and father, they were never married, so I was born at a at a wedlock. 
Okay. And um, so I was raised by my mother. My father would come around mainly when he needed shit or like wanted to, you know, try to scheme or whatever. Okay. And so he had always been um, battling addiction his whole life, and now he, he just turned 60, which is crazy. So, but then my mother as well with prescription medication. She dealt with manic depression. Um, so, yeah, it was crazy. It was pretty fucked up. My guess is if you go to most Logic shows, you'd have a mostly white audience. A bunch audience. of white people. And it even sort of like the, the branding, like for example, like he calls himself like kind of like the Rat Pack and you know, it's like the, the whole... Um, it's all white. Everything involved. g Easy is blacker than Logic. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would say it's about... They marketed themselves kind of equivalently. You know, I'm, I was being a dickhead about that one. You know, I'm, <laughs> I was being a dickhead. But, it's but like, you know, but like I said, logic, the whole rap pack, like the whole Frank Sinatra thing right. and stuff like that. that. And that's what I'm saying. It's like looking at the difference between like Russell Wilson and, and, and Colin Kaepernick. You have you have a similar structure there, but look at the difference. You have out of all of these super dark ass motherfuckers in an NFL, it is Colin Kaepernick who decided to take a knee and in that way take a stand. Yeah, you know, and so when you as a mixed artist, you know that black people have no kind of most black people have no understanding of what Aryan is. They don't know. Yeah, nor they're gonna look it up. And in fact, actually, Kaepernick was actually raised by white parents. Right, and yet and still he realizes the need yeah. for black leaders in this culture. And so when you have that choice where you can identify to be black, even though you've made most of your money off of identifying as white people, even more so because of that, you've made so much money off of identifying as white at this time, more so than any time ever, stand up for us just one time. Make it known that as much as your white side matters and you appreciate it, appreciate your black side and your black heritage just as much because we need it. Not because it might be the most profitable thing, but because you already don't have any radio singles. That's not what's pushing your music. Your music is pushed by these fans. And the fact that we need everyone to understand where it's coming from, at, at this time, that is not the best thing you could do. That is not the most socially responsible title. And of course your fans are going to defend it. Of course there are going to be people who just hate me who are going to make <laughs> it seem better. But does it, does it change what I'm saying? Right, I mean, because Aryan, like I said, I mean, even past, the, you know, there's the Nazi thing, then there's the Aryan nation. There's know, the Aryan the, Brotherhood. Aryan Brotherhood. Everything that's ever been connected with Aryan is extremely and outwardly racist. Yeah. So if your idea was to change the perception of that, then you would have to come at it from the black standpoint and use it. Like, this is like super secret information, but me and Heroes and Villains are creating a band, right? Okay. And right now, our, our code name for it is Confederate. Why? Because the Confederate flag is often used against black people, right? And yet, a Confederacy is exactly what black people need to be right now. Well, I mean, Kanye had the song Black Skinheads. You see how you change it around? That's how you switch it around. That's how you switch the connotation for it. What you don't do is throw it on the end of Africa and put Aryan and knowing that through your entire career you've identified as white. It is socially... Awkward well, as fuck. I mean, he got us talking about it, so I guess he, he accomplished what it. What Which he is what the do. goal was to get us to talk about it, <laughs> and I'm aware of that. Yep. I'm very aware. We fell into the trap. We fell into the trap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so great on that part, but I just think, and I'm, what I told people also is, I'm hoping that the content is completely betrays the title, hmm. that he talks more about having to view the injustices done against black people, knowing that people identify him as white. Probably saying racist shit to him, not realizing he's that he black. is black. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping his album is about, and I will listen to it for that fact, for, that for fact. listening to that. And I've never heard any logic a day in my life, but I'm planning on listening to this album just to find out if that's what he did with it. And if he, that's what he did, I would just quickly come to any interview and everything and apologize and salute him for being able to attack it from that angle. That's what it is. OG Macko, always a pleasure, man. Man, you know how I rock flat. You know? Make sure you check out my show on Dash Radio, Quality Control Radio, and check me out on Revolt. Yeah. Um, so what are you doing for Revolt? I'm creating content over there with, with Aaron. Um, we're going through HR right now, so I can't tell you my official position just yet because we're okay. going through finishing that. But I'm um, actually starting a, a documentary with uh, Revolt called Black Lives Thrive, hmm. where I'll be going to different inner city neighborhoods and taking one of my artists, my painter with me. He's a real-life painter. He's amazing. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the landscape of the culture in each city. You know, go, going from like, you know, the neighborhoods where it's impoverished all the way up to the neighborhoods where it's a little bit more empowered and looking at the black experience going through that from different cities. So we're talking about, you know, the Midwest and going to New York and going to Miami. Of course, we're going back home to Atlanta. You can check out L.A. going from South Central all the way up to like Ladera Heights and shit like that. Yep. And and we're going to have my painter paint a scene of it and Revolt want to host town halls. and We want to make the black experience an experience instead of just the black experience. We want people to realize that there are so much and so many opportunities created black black people for black people for positive means instead of people just thinking of us as people who just promote violence and you know and and, and, and denigration with their own culture. Yeah. That's what we want to do. So what about your album? My album, well first off, that Black Phil Collins is fucking amazing. Um it's on iTunes, Spotify, it's on everything and that was my response to being held back over and over and over. But, but that's not your album. No. Still. 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 Because we were talking about your album last time. Right. Still not out yet. Still not out yet. <laughs> right. And it's not like the music isn't there or nothing. And I think that's another thing, too. People have not realized I cannot be who I want to be because all that music is after that album. So if you don't, if the album doesn't come out as it came out, you know, then how, what kind of understanding would you have? Look at the song I just dropped with DJ Snake, that, that fucking move record. If Justin Bieber dropped that record, it'd be the fucking number one record in the world. If Taylor Swift dropped the record, it'd be number one record in the world. If goddamn Jedediah dropped that record, it'd be number one record in the world. Diplo also. Right, I work with Diplo, I work with Skrillex. Yep. Right, if any of them, if anybody else dropped these records, it'd be the biggest record in the world. But because of the connotation that is still attached to my name, <laughs> From you guessed it, no matter how much amazing music I make, no matter how much socially conscious music I make, I'm stuck in this fucking dope hole. And the only way to get out of it is for me to drop this album, and yet, and still, no album. No album. I'm sure it's coming soon, man. I'm looking forward to it.